Happening this weekend is the 2023 Chinese New Year Festival and Parade. And what better way to celebrate than having someone from the Bay Area to talk all about the festivities? Joining us now is the parade's Grand Marshal and actor, Rich Ting. Rich, thanks so much for joining us again here on Live in the Bay. Thanks for having me. Yeah, now, before we get started, I wanted to, me and everybody else here at Live in the Bay <laughs> wanted to give you a red wow. envelope. Yes, wishing you so much wow. prosperity and success this year. Awesome. <laughs> you know, funny story about this is growing up, my dad, who is Chinese, uh -huh. is so Americanized that really? I finally figured out that he's the smartest Chinese American <laughs> dad because we never got these growing up. And so, why do you think that is? I mean, supposedly there's money in here, right? <laughs> So, I mean, I, 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 get, I get his strategy, but I yeah. want to say thank you to you guys here at Cron for this, because I think this is one of my first envelopes. Oh, that's amazing. So I appreciate Listen, it. We are honored, and we want to see you do, you know, amazing things, and we want to see you prosper in 2023. Thank you and so I know much. you're probably going to get so many more this, this coming weekend I, I as mean, the Grand Marshal of I the hope parade. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, tell me, how did you find out, and how did they approach you about being the Grand Marshal of the parade? Sure. They reached out, the committee that uh, elects the Grand Marshal every year back in November. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it took me by surprise. Did it? I, I actually didn't believe it at first because, like I always say, with my publicists, with my team, we have a strategy every year. And this was not on the list. It's never really been on the list because this thing is so grand to me and to everyone mm -hmm. in the world, let alone the United States, since this is the biggest Chinese New Year celebration in the States. Mm -hmm. um, to think that I would be elected as the Chinese American Grand Marshal when there's so many of us in this world, I, I couldn't fathom that. So when I got the call, it was definitely shocking, but so humbled and proud to represent. Well, I would love to expand on that a little bit more. You, you just said it. It is here in San Francisco, this Chinese festival, New Year celebration parade is the biggest in the country and the biggest to do it outside of Asia. So for you, <laughs> as a Chinese American man, what does that mean to you personally? No anxiety. <laughs> right? Not at all, right? <laughs> but um, it, it means everything. Yeah. Like I said, to be the Grand Marshal of the 2023 parade and festival and to be a fourth generation Asian American, mm -hmm. I think that speak vol speaks volumes. I never thought I would have the platforms that I currently have, but the fact that I do, I would definitely want to take full advantage of that and represent to the community. Like I always say in my acting, if there's someone out there who is a 10-year-old, a 4-year-old, I don't discriminate against ages, but when I was growing up, I never saw a relatable character. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this weekend, just like in all of my acting stuff, if there is a kid in attendance that's on the sidelines or there's even an adult that can recognize me and, and relate to me generational wise, mm -hmm. then that's the win. Because growing up, I always saw literally Chinese Americans or Chinese people that were a part of the parade that I couldn't really identify because I was so removed from the culture. Mm. So like I said, with you giving me my first red envelope, maybe there's someone else out there too that's like, hey, dad, where's my envelope, yeah. right? Yeah. And so maybe I'm putting a lot of parents on blast right now, but <laughs> sorry, you know? <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do, you know? <laughs> now, when it comes to being the Grand Marshal, Rich, what, what can we expect to see you doing at the parade, you know? What I've been told is I've done everything to get to the Grand Marshal event. Ah, okay. So what they've told me is they really, the committee, and shout out to them and the city of San Francisco and Alaska Airlines for really just putting on a fabulous event for all of us. They want me to enjoy it. You know, we have so many festivities and interviews and press appearances that I have to do, but besides opening the event to, on Saturday, lighting some fireworks, celebrating with the crowd. Shout out to Archbishop Reardon High School, my, my high school in San Francisco. The band will be there backing me up. Oh, that's so what's it's up. Just, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a party, yeah. and I can't wait to really get there and just really absorb and be in the moment during the parade. That's amazing. Well, I know so many people are looking forward to the parade this weekend. And again, congratulations. That is such a huge honor for you representing the Thank Bay you. Area. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're so proud of you over here. Now, I'd like to loop it back to last time you were here. We talked about some of your work yeah. um, on Partner Track, and yes. we were discussing how much it meant to you for Asian representation in the TV and film industry. For you, uh, what have you now seen reactions wise and from the community since we've last spoke? Well, first, um, yes, we did speak about my last show, uh, Partner Track, on Netflix, and what a fabulous run. Unfortunately, we didn't get renewed, but we were trending at number one in the world in, I think, 10 different countries, number mm -hmm. two in the U.S. for a little under a month. 
The outreach from the community was overwhelming just because they saw an Asian American female Arden Cho as our lead. They saw myself and my brother Desmond Chiam on the show as well, as well as my dad, who plays my dad, um, Kelvin Han Yi. And just to see those Asian American faces, I think, and the diversity. I mean, if you really dove into the story itself, the plot involved a Korean American lead, but dealing with a Chinese American family. Mm -hmm. So just the fact that we're at that level now in the, in the industry, mm -hmm. where we're looking at the micro levels and the different ethnicities within this Asian umbrella, I think was the ultimate win. Unfortunately, we're not coming back, but you know, like I always say, we got on the platform, we were trending, and I couldn't be more grateful for that opportunity. And that's all that really matters, just getting that seat at the table and getting that foot in the door, because now it's going to open doors exactly. for so many other people. Exactly. And is there any other upcoming work we can expect to see from you, Rich? Yeah, uh, fortunately, there is. Uh, I'm going to have a part on Apple TV's new show, Hello Tomorrow, starring Billy Crudup. Mm -hmm. It's a parallel universe kind of sci-fi thing. Shout out to Mortal Media and Ryan Khalil for bringing me on for this project. I play a character which I can't really go into, mm -hmm. but you haven't seen me in this uniform before. I'm oh, going to leave it at okay. that. So I'm a like man that. in uniform. It was a ton of fun. I also have a feature film called Karma's A Beep uh -huh. that I can't say right now on camera. <laughs> Thank that's, you for not saying that. <laughs> that's coming out later this year. And also venturing into the world, back into the world of video games. Can't mention that title at all. But, um, you know, just a lot of cool things I'm actually producing and starring in. A very great project that I'm developing with an up-and-coming writer-director from San Francisco, from the Bay Area. And we're going to start filming on that late April, early May. So a lot of things coming up as always. Mm -hmm. But this weekend is about the Chinese New Year yep. Parade and Festival, which I couldn't be more grateful to be here to celebrate. Well, we are excited for you and we're excited to cheer you on on Saturday and to participate in everything. So thank you so much, Rich, for joining us here on Live in the Bay. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me.